this could be the biggest European night at Celtic Park in a long, long time. Let's go. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. My hair is absolutely mental. I can't apologise for that. But anyway, back to the business of today's episode. Today it is Champions League group stage final game. We'll get on to that in a second, but first we do have Dundee United away in the league to deal with, first of all. But let's catch up. How have we been getting on since you guys were last here? So the last episode we played was this one here we played Juventus at home um, and we lost 2-1 it was a disappointing loss um, but we took it on the chin we dealt with it and we move on so it is what it is then we went away and we drew with St Johnson 0-0 which was not a very good result but we'd take it at the end of the day we're still unbeaten as we go in. We beat Hibs 2-0, Livingston 5-0. We lost away at home against the event. This was a bit of a drubbing, 5-2. Um, Dundee United, we beat them 3-0. Ross County, we beat 3-1. We got a massive win away against Porto, which was 2-0. And then we drew against Aberdeen, 0-0. That was a horrible game, by the way. Horrible. Then... We had Hearts in our last game and we managed to scrape a 1-0 win there. So games haven't necessarily been going our way the last couple of games. But hopefully we get a good one against Dundee United today and then we go from there. Right, so without any further ado, let's get into the first game. Right, so here we go. Here is the team going out to face Dundee United um, away from home in the league here. So we have Joe Hart in goals with Greg Taylor and Juranovic at fullbacks. We have Julian coming in with Carter Vickers. McGregor McCarthy in the centre midfield with Rogic just ahead of them. Uh, Todd Cantwell out on the left and Abada on the right. Hugo is up front. Um, I will also point out we now have um, Gia Kamakis on the bench. Gia Kamakis, I think that's how it was said. Um, one of you lovely viewers did leave a nice comment below just to advise me of how that's phonetically said, and I do appreciate that. Um, any further tips or any sort of hints on how to pronounce things, more than welcome. But with that out of the way, let's get into the game. Let's go. Right, here we go. So here's the teams coming out. They're undefeated in their last three games, three draw or last five games, three draws though. Um, and here is us. We have won four, drawn one out of our last five games. So that is a big one um, there. But let's get the game kicked off. We're sitting up top. We've got a good run um, at the top of the league. But let's see if we can just carry on that form today. Players come out and we've kicked off. Let's go. Oh, first highlight. Juranovic here. Cross it in. Carter Vickers. Off oh, the crossbar. So close. McGregor. He was going for something, but whatever it was, it didn't work out for him. Oh, here we go. Long throw again. Does it still work? It certainly does. Cantwell couldn't finish there. Great block from Dundee United defender. Another long throw. Abada in. Julian back post. Rogic couldn't get there. Taylor's going to pick up possession. Can he cross this one in? Come on. Back post to Bada. There we go. Lyle Abada. 1 0. Header at the back post. Fantastic. 1 0 Celtic. Now let's just keep this going. Keep the momentum going. And let's get a result here. Don't need to watch the replay. It's good enough the first time. If you liked it that much, rewind and watch it again. Be kick, Juranovic. Oh, it's a penalty. Okay. Who's taking it? McGregor steps up. And he finishes it. 20 minutes in and we're 2-0 up against Dundee United. Uh, this has win written all over it now. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, we come into a highlight here. Charlie Mulgrew defends that well. Now they're coming at us. Okay, let's get this ball off them. Push them back. Oh, it's Charlie Mulgrew, get the ball off him. Nicky Clark. He's got a bit of space on the left here, so it could be dangerous. Cross it in. Just over. Header was never worrying heart. Not enough power on that. That's our first chance of the game. Right, we're highlight heavy in this half. Ball through Nicky Clark. 
puts it back. Play it about and it's a goal! Maxime Bayamu with the goal away. It's been disallowed, he was offside. Who was offside? Oh, Clark was offside going back. Don't know about that one. But we'll take that decision. Just keep playing your game, boys. It's almost half time. We can fix things at half time. Oh, we highlight here just before the half time whistle. Levitt. Nominee for Welsh Player of the Year. Edwards. Edwards scores, and that's not being disallowed. The writing was on the wall for that one. We've taken it for granted a wee bit there. Um, giving him far too much space, and he's scored an absolute cracker. With that too much space there, no one's came in. And he's just had all the time in the world to take that shot. 2 1. Right, so here we go. It is half time, and it's 2 1 to Celtic. And just getting that goal there has put me a bit on edge, but they don't really deserve it. We've we've been smashing them in terms of XG, but let's get into the second half. Right, corner kick here. Juranovic has taken it. Julian's going for it. Just over. Thought you had that. It looked really good. Corner kick to the United. Back post. Edwards. Just over. Again, he's got the ball. Plays it to Mulgrew. One close him down. Mulgrew. Side. Right. Need to make a change here. Right, what we're looking at. McGregor's been yellow carded, but he's got loads of fitness, so I don't need to don't really want to take him off. I'm gonna bring on Jota um for a bada. Um and Davy Turnbull on for Rogic. That should just give us a bit more stability, hopefully. Free kick. Levitt crosses it in. It's a penalty. It's a penalty to Dundee United. Right, this is a disaster. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Save it. Charlie Mulgrew. Slots at home. Right, that's what I get for slagging him earlier. That was too easy. They've just got straight back in this game. There's no reason for them to be back in this game. What are we doing? Right, let's have a look at our instructions. See what we can do. Let's push up. We're inviting them on too much. Right, a bit of encouragement. Come on, boys. Oh, who's injured? Bod Cantwell. Right, that's not ideal. Ashi. And then Gia Kamakis. Come on. That's an unfortunate injury. That was Cantwell. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious. Right, this is, this is very worrying. The fact that we're still losing here. Not losing, but we're drawing, but... It would feel like a loss, to be honest. I think you take a work off, work ball in the box off. Um, yeah, go for that. Come on, let's go. Corner kick, Chalmers is taking it. Jacobakis comes out with the ball. Back to Taylor. Weird move, but he gets it forward. Burahashi, he's through on goal. Can he finish? What was that? I've been working on his finishing as well. That's his main thing to work on in training. Throw in. Greg Taylor launches it. Giacomakis. Just over. Right. This is proper. We're proper getting FM'd here. Right, you go attacking. Right, we're going to do something weird here. Maybe that'll do. Let's go. Come on. Nope. And that's all she wrote. Another an annoying draw in the league. We keep doing amazing things in like the Champions League and stuff and then drawing games like that. It's just silly. Just very silly. Todd Campbell, how long's he out for? Three to four weeks. Right, that is uh, that's unfortunate. But big game up next. So let's have a look at that. So before we get into the lineup for the game against Real. This is just to highlight the importance of this game. So it's the final day of the group stage and literally it is completely up for grabs. So Villarreal and uh, Juventus are in the top two positions with eight points each. Then myself and Porto have got six points each, right? So we play Villarreal. If we win, we're into the knockout stages. It's as simple as that. If Porto 
manage to win, they go through. So either way, this could flip upside down. Um, again, we just need to make sure that we do our job. We win, we go through. Simple as that. Um, we could even potentially top the group, which is wild. Um, if we do lose, we have got to hope that, via, um, that Porto also lose by a bigger margin of goals than us, um, just to make sure. I think we would go through anyway, but just to make sure the um, goal difference doesn't come into play. I don't think it does here, but we'll, we'll see. It's hard to tell. Um, so that would mean we go into Europa League, right? So let's see what happens. Let's see how we get on, um, and let's have a look at the team. So this is the team that I'm going with to take on Virial. Um, so in goals, Joe Hart, Bolingoli comes in with Neko Williams, Stephen Welsh and Starfelt at centre-back, Rogic and McCarthy in midfield with David Turnbull ahead of them, Jota on the left, Abada on the right, and Furuhashi up front. Jacob Akis is going to stay on the bench for this one. He might come on as an impact sub. Carter Vickers um, is just a bit tired. I don't want my centre-back tired in this game. I want him to be on as, as popular performance as possible. If we lose, we lose. If we win, this will be exceptional. But anyway, let's jump into it. Here we go. The game is about to start. There's our lineup. There is the Villarreal lineup. Decent wee team. Few changes from when we last played them. And that's how the group goes. It's all to play for in this game. This is one of the biggest European nights at Celtic Park in a long time. And here come the players. They're out onto the pitch. Pep talks are happening. And we have kicked off. Um, oh, we've got a highlight straight away. Why have I paused this? On a kick. It's dealt with. Let's stop them coming at us for the second ball. Deal with it. McCarthy, watch yourself. Plays it back. You've got too much space on the edge of the box. It's just wide. Pause that and encourage. Right, let's go. Corner. Turnbull. Cross it in. Starfield's got it on the edge of the box. What's he going to do? Tips it over. That's fine. We've still got possession. Turnbull. Well, someone help him. Rogic. Turnbull. Play it wide. Come on. Nico's there. No, we're going to the other side. Okay. Ball and goalie's there. Get the cross in. Come on, what are you doing? Jota across the badder. Badder. 1 0. 11 minutes in. We're 1 0 up. Come on. This is huge. Great play. I was wrong to, to moan at them. Do this. Ball and goalie. Back to Jota. Jota across. A badder. Great goal. Great assist from Jota as well. And Juventus are winning against Porto, which does us a favour if anything goes wrong here. Hopefully that stays the same, but hopefully we won't need it. Highlight here, Starfield to Williams. Neko, decent run, plays it over. Furuhashi, can he score? He takes it past the keeper, and that is brilliant. Last ditch defending there from Villarreal. Whoever that player is, absolute legend for them. Turnbull crosses it in. To the box, they're going to come on the counter. Let's deal with that, Neko. Looks like we dealt with it. And that's half time there. We are currently 1 0 up. We have one foot in the Champions League knockouts, which is wild. I didn't even think we we're going to get to the group stage this season, which is uh, unreal. Right, we have 20 minutes to go. Look at the team. Who's looking very tired? Kyogo is very tired, so Giacomakis is going to come on for him. And we'll leave it at that for just now. 15 minutes to go. Highlight here. Don't like this. Gaspar, Jeremy, Rogic. Tries to win it, but he's lost it. With Bolingoli. Come on, here we go. Hopefully this leads to a goal for us. Welsh, striding forward. Just gives possession straight away. I'm genuinely nervous here. Right there. Just passing it about. Back to the keeper. He's just passing it about here. I'm worried this is going to lead to a goal. Why is this a highlight? It's through to Gerard. Oh, Gerard Moreno scores. 
With 11 minutes to go, that is a sickener. That is an absolute sickener. It's tough to say what we can actually do here. Um, we'll bring on Mikey Johnson. That pace on the right-hand side. In terms of tactics, we just need to kind of go for this now, don't we? See what else we've got. Distribute quickly. Take short kicks, do that. Push everyone right up. Right, let's just go for it all out. Coming in. It's a corner kick, let's deal with that. Come on, boys. Post. It's cleared. We need to just go all out attack now. Don't really have much choice in the matter. Right, ball and golly. Turnbull, please. Ball and golly. It's through, it's going straight to the fence. That's just their highlight. Oh, no, it's not. Jota. Come on. Is it cross? Johnson. Jimak. Oh, Jacobacus. Soft night. Go out! VAR! 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 Oh, I've never, I've never actually loved VAR more than this. Jacobacus has scored. <laughs> we need to, we need to change tactics. Pause, 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 pause. Right, back, very defensive instructions. Um, the opposite of what I was doing before, right? Um, play for set pieces, be more disciplined, time wasting all the time, low tempo, short passing, in transition, regroup, hold shape, slow the pace down, distribute to centre backs and full backs, take short kicks, out of possession, back. Back, trigger press all the time, stay on feet, don't do anything silly. Come on. Oh, on pause. Come on. Four minutes of stoppage time. Yes! Come on! We've done it! We've actually done it. We've got into the knockout stages of the, the Champions League. I can't believe that. Giacomacus. What did I say before the game started? That we could use him as an impact sub. And he's done it. He's came on and he's scored the goal that's put us into the knockout stage of the Champions League. And Mikey Johnson got the assist. Super sub, Mikey Johnson. Unbelievable. Look at that. Look at that. Juventus and Celtic qualify. Nine points on the table. All right, guys, <laughs> um, having now calmed down a little bit on that. Um, it doesn't look like we're getting to draw anytime soon. Um, we've got a game against Motherwell um, in between what I'm assuming is now and the, the draw, so I'll reveal that one in the next episode. You'll have to tune in to find out. Next time we come back, um, we will come back for the league doubleheader with Hibs and Rangers um, in January, in, well, December and January, and that will be the, the next episode. There, another old farm, hopefully we can get our win, whether it be at Celtic Park, and then that does us nicely, or maybe a wee Champions League knockout stage episode coming up after that. Um, honestly, absolutely unbelievable. I can't believe we just did that. If you like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more content. Again, there's going to be more than just Let's Plays coming up in the near future. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, um, hit the like button. Um, I just want to thank everyone for all the support so far. Um, it's been absolutely amazing. Um, I know it's been a, a while since I've made videos. It's been, what, about six months since I last made any FM content. So the fact that you guys are um, back on the videos and back, leaving comments, hitting the like button, all that sort of stuff. Amazing. So... Hats off to everyone. Um, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Like I said, next episode, we're going to have that Hibs and Rangers double, and then it'll be more Champions League time. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.